Hello everyone, how's it going? In this video, we're going to take a look at the Fortress ideal starting location. Now, if you remember the Fortress, you have your two flyers, your Serpent Flies and your Wyverns, that are very weak units, but they're very fast. So they're very good at denying enemy archers from firing at you. And then you have your Null Marauders, your lizard men, your lizard warriors, your basilisks, and your uh, I can't think of the level five. Uh, your gorgons that have the highest defense of their tier. So you definitely want to get your flyers out there and then let your slower, beefier units catch up. So with that said, let's go ahead and take a look at their starting location would be if I was to build an ideal one. No, not random. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw down some swamp. <laughs> That's not swamp at all. It's rough. There we go. And I'll give player one a rampart or fortress. I guess I can also give them a rampart, but, you know, where's the fun in that? Now, resource generation is pretty interesting. I was not aware of this beforehand. Um, I never really took a good look into it until today. But this is now our third town that relies heavily on sulfur and mercury. So we had the Inferno and I believe the Necropolis and now the Rampart that relies heavily on Sulfur and Mercury. The Sulfur is used in most of the creature dwellings. I believe Dragonflies, Basilisks, and definitely Hydras. And the Mercury is used with, I believe, uh, Dragonflies, Basilisks, Gorgons, wyverns or something like that um, it's used quite a bit so you definitely want a lot of mercury and sulfur laying around um, in your ideal starting location uh, once again I miss just can't seem to do anything right can I Okay, so that is creature or resource generation. Creature generation, um, you definitely want to play to one of the two strengths, and it's really up to you to decide. Are you going to give speed, or are you going to give defense? How are you going to? empower the creature generation of the fortress. Um, they're both equal and in an ideal situation you have either both speed or you have both defense. Now ideally you'd have all four but I mean I I would think that a realistic ideal setting you'd have two dwellings in your starting area and then maybe just outside your starting area you can put one or two others but um, really, that's your choice. Um, I wouldn't even bother with a Hydra Pond. Um, hydras and Chaos Hydras especially are utility. Um, they do below average, if not bad damage. Um, they're just not good statistical units. You're paying entirely for the surrounding attack. Um, you can get a lot more bang for your buck if you include dragonflies or if you include gorgons because the more gorgons you have the more you can kill with your death stare for stat generation um, kind of the polar opposite of the stronghold you're definitely going to want to double down on defense um, this will give your dragonflies and your wyverns the survivability that they need and it will just further strengthen your advantage over every other town in the game uh, with your survivability. 
um, late game. Um, so I would definitely go with defense. Um, there's no real reason to focus on magic. And if you wanted to kind of suicide, like if you're going to specialize in the speed, um, I shouldn't call it suicide. But if you're going to rush in, um, I would double down on attack instead so that your dragonflies and your wyverns can actually kill stuff when you send them in. However, keep in mind, they'll probably die faster and then the enemy will start um, attacking your gorgons and basilisks before you are ready to strike back. So I believe doubling down on defense is more appropriate. Um, however, I understand doubling down on attack so that you can try to kill off the enemy with your fast units. Uh, finally, we have the quests. And with the quests, um, let's see here. I would say dragonflies are always fun. Um, it's nothing more fun than seeing your suicide units uh, showing up in mass. Uh, where are they? There we go. Um, if you're not going to do dragonflies and you want something else, I would honestly say either experience or defense would be necessary. Um, the units aren't particularly expensive, so you don't need gold. And the base hydra, not the chaos hydra, doesn't require sulfur to purchase. It's only gold. So you don't need resources early. Um, so I would stay away from either a gold or a resource reward for an early game quest and I would stick more towards defense or maybe one of the shield artifacts or even just giving some serpent flies or dragon flies just to help out um, with the early game onslaught. So that's it for fortress of uh, kind of the polar opposite of stronghold. Um, and it's an interesting town because you can go either speed or you can go defense. Um, late game you'll have both, but until you get there you have to choose one. So that's it for Fortress. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, or subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.